Hello, what's up? Once again, audience, welcome to another video. This is going to be a cooking video. I just wanted to, you know, start it with my bubby. Intro of my bubby girl. Yeah. All right. Oh, look at all the construction outside, you guys. Whoa, they're digging into my yard now. It's crazy. Hola. Even a neighbor's yard is all dug up. Isn't that crazy? I went outside and here's a closer look. They literally are digging right into the sidewalk and my yard and everything. It's crazy. Every day it just feels like an earthquake is happening whenever these guys are just at work. It sucks. We cannot wait for these guys to be finished. Okay, enough with the construction. Let's get on with the cooking video. All right, so we got in the slow cooker, the crock pot right now, we got ourselves some pork meat. I don't really, I forget what, the, what it's called, but it's just some kind of good meat. And we got going in the slow cooker right now. We got it on high. All right, so these are gonna be the ingredients I put in it. We got some potatoes. Nice, we got some carrots. Ooh, look at that, we got onion, red pepper, bell pepper, I mean. Nice, red bell pepper, nice. All right, and over here we got the beautiful creamy chicken mushroom soup that we'll be adding in. Let's put this in the crock pot, guys. Yeah. Okay, time to pour this baby in. She look good. She look good. All right, here we go. It's hard to do this with the camera too. Oh boy. Just went right in there. Can't even see the chicken anymore. Or you can't even see the pork meat that I put in there. That is so crazy. Oh, it's just straight soup now. All right, what's next? There it is. Oh, this is gonna be a good cooked meal, you guys. Oh, I'm excited. And this is the soup that I'm using, you guys. It's Campbell's Cream of Mushroom. Delicious blend of mushrooms and real cream. Not bad. So, I was just setting up my little area to sit and do some vegetable cutting, and all of a sudden, I see something out in the uh, yard, and it kind of looks like a patch of mushrooms. Huh. Don't you look at that. I guess it's some mushrooms in my yard. Huh, isn't that crazy? I just got a little bushel of mushrooms in my yard. Huh. All right, time for the part where we have to actually clean these and skin them, basically. They're gonna be a part of my meal. All right, guys, let's get started. I am going to actually peel now. <laughs> Here it is, me cutting, uh, me peeling, I guess. Whew. 
I wish I had a peeler. It would have been a lot easier to do this. <sighs> Second one peeled! Alright, time for the carrots. So, like, technically, this is my first time that I've ever cooked with carrots. Personally, in my lifetime. Like, I've never actually made this kind of a soup for myself. Like, I've never slow cooked a meal, never used a crock pot. This is my, this is literally my first experience with this kind of dish. So, that's also kind of why I wanted to record it and see how good it goes. And maybe just document how good I get, because, you know, why not? Actually, you want to know something really cool? If you save the bottom of these carrots, like just the bottom stems here, you can make more carrots. You can plant more with this. Yeah. The only reason why I won't be able to fully plant them is because it's nearly winter. It's like next month, it's October. And now by the time of me uploading this, it is already October. <laughs> All right, time to get cutting. That's really all you need for the head size. You just need at least some of the carrot and the roots. And you can grow more carrot with that. Legit. Two more! Boom! I got my carrots cut. I want to save two of them at least for something else maybe. We'll see what these go for. But they're perfect sizes to use for a different meal of some sorts. So I got, actually, you know, it's quite a bit of carrots. I, I, I cut, I cut, actually, you can see. That's quite a bit. That's a good amount for the, just the single soup that I'm doing right now. So it's good. Yes, they are muddy. We are going to clean it afterwards, but right now, for the first part, we gotta cut it up. We gotta get them cut. Let's do the onion. I gotta cut up some onion, yes. Not all the onion, because I actually wanna save some for other meals as well. You don't wanna just waste all your food up in one bit, don't, you know what I mean? Be conservative, be smart with your food, and don't put a knife close to your head. Be smart with your food and don't do that, because that wasn't smart with a the knife there. <laughs> But be smart with your food and very conservative. It's the good, best way, uh, you know, don't overeat. Unless you're Matt Stoney or Beer Meets Food or some kind of food challenge guy. And then you can overeat. But I don't recommend it. Alright, let's get these cut. Hopefully I don't start crying. Ooh la la! What a nice cut. Put a little more off the bottom here. We'll save that for burgers or whatever other meals that I like. Cause I like onions and burgers. Oh, so good. Excelente. It is excelente. So good. It is a very, very, very good. So, so good. All right. Continuing peeling the onion. The more and more I cut into this and the more and more I get finished cutting this a beautiful food, I am getting so excited for the end result. I am so excited. This is going to be like the best home cooked meal I've ever made myself in a long time. And you know what? The thanks goes to my grandma, Ramona, for helping me out with this food and my mother, Misty, for driving it over to my house. So thank you guys so much for all the help. I love my family with all my heart and soul. Thank you guys for all the food. I really do appreciate it. All right. 
We're almost done cutting up the onions. The goal I'm trying to get at here is to make them a bit sloppy cut. Because... <laughs> My bad. Not have them projectile all across the room like that, but I want them to be a bit sloppier cut because I want some thicker pieces, some less thicker pieces. I'm a big fan of onions. I love onions so desperately. I don't know why, but they're one of my most favorite foods out of all. So I'm going to put this one back too, just so we can have a little more. Save. Because that looks like quite enough onions. I'll show you guys. That looks like quite enough onions for us to uh, have in the meal. That's good. We don't want to have too, too much, but that is probably... For me, I think that's perfect amount. Now time for the bell pepper. All right. Let's get some stuff out of the way so you can see. Let's continue cutting this up. All right, time for the bell pepper. Yeah. Here we go. All right. Woo. This looks juicy and beautiful. I love bell peppers. They always look so flavorful. Besides all the seeds. Look at all those seeds. Isn't that crazy, Oz Nation? Look at them seeds. at all. I'd recommend using a cutting board and doing it on a platform surface, but technically this table is very dirty and I don't want to cut on the, the plate, so I'm just cutting it up in front of you guys so you can, for one, so you can see me cut, and two, it's the only way I can cut. I don't recommend it though. Just, just putting that out there. All right. All right, but like one thing I want to say about this is I am trying to cut sloppy. I am trying to get smaller and bigger pieces, mixed up sizes. That's the goal. I, that, I'm not doing that unintentionally. That is intentionally. Right. Yeah. Now that's how you cut a bell pepper. Well, that's how, that's how I do it anyway. I just want to mention, do you like the lighting? I have some pretty good lighting in this video. I don't know. I got like a window there to me shining light. I got the window there shining light and I got a light on me over there. Studio light. You guys seen it in the previously in the video when I showed you the mushrooms outside. All right, look at that. We have the bell peppers cut up. Doesn't it look nice? No. Wow! We're gonna have to throw these in the crock pot with the meat and the soup. Now that's gonna be fun. Now that's gonna be good. I cannot wait to try this. Finally, just gonna finish these potatoes and then we're gonna put them in the crock. The crock pot. First time I'm ever using a crock pot, inspiring this video, making it. Since, you know, I like to have my first experience for like doing things, like, you know, like eating something or doing something. It's always my first time. Like, I, I play my video games. Like, every single game that I'm playing is my first Let's Play of it. I've never actually beaten any of the games. And, yeah, I like to give you guys my first reactions for things. I think it's a little bit more genuine for content, you know, a little bit more genuine. It's less, a lot less scripted because you're actually genuinely reacting to things. You don't have to script a reaction. So I think I'm, I think I'm blessed. Honestly, I'm really blessed that I don't have to script any reactions that I have. It's actually pretty cool. 
All right, let's get these washed up and thrown in the crock pot, you guys. I'm finished, and it looks good. Oh my gosh. Ooh, beautiful, it looks amazing. Cannot wait to throw that in the crock pot, you guys. All right, let's get these clean and in the crock pot. There we go. Yeah. I got this little spray thing right here. So I could just spray it. Yeah. And get them all clean. All right, now that these are all clean, let's go over to the crock pot. See how that's doing. Ooh, steamy. Woohoo! Super steamy and nice looking. Ooh, there's a piece of meat. Look at that. Whoa, look at the piece of meat, you guys. It's crazy, it looks good. All right, all right. So super, it's like, oh man, it's so super steamy. All right, let's drop some in now. Just like so. You know what? Let's just uh, drop them in like this. Whoa. Oh. Just, oh, just one fell, we're good. Continue the pour. Ooh. All right. Now we're nice and full in this crocky potty here. Wow, that's starting to look like some real soup. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Have fam, friends and fam, have you ever had something that looked that good? Oh my God. This is a beautiful sight to see. All right, time to cut the chicken open to see if it's good. All right, let's just cut some of this open. Oh yeah, there's no pink in the middle, guys. It looks fully cooked all the way through. Oh, that is so nice. We're in for an amazing meal. I cannot wait to try this. Whoa. This is also gonna be like a super healthy meal, you guys. I need to eat more healthy as of late. I guarantee my body's asking me to like eat healthier. And this, my friends, this looks healthier. This looks so good. Oh my God, I cannot wait. Let's check back in a little bit and let this cook. And I'll show you later on how awesome this is. We're gonna check back in a bit. All right. Seven hours later. Also have some lighting for us to see just how nice this is. <laughs> now we have some good lighting. Let's continue. All right. <gasps> oh my God. You guys, that looks so heavenly. Look at this. Remember how bright it was? Now it's dark out. Yeah, so guys, it was like 3.20 in the afternoon, like basically right after school hours. Was right where I started cooking today, and now, look at how it looks. Ooh, money shots. Beautiful steam from the camera. Oh. Oh my god, you guys. Look at that. I cut up the meat, by the way. Oh my god. This is incredible. Yeah, off camera, I, I cut off the meat like right away, uh, right after I turned off the camera. Just so you guys know, that's why it's all cut up. But look at that. I bet you guys weren't expecting that. 
It turned out so beautiful. Oh, the steam. Can you guys just smell it? It so smells so good. I bet you guys can just smell it right through the camera. Oh my god. Carrots are nice and soft. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so excited. It's gonna be good. Alright. Let's pour it in a bowl. And I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna tell you guys what I think of the meal and everything. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Doesn't that look beautiful, you guys? Oh my lord. Let's get her packed in the bowl. Oh, so, so good looking. <laughs> I'm excited, you guys. Let's see how this tastes. All right. So we're gonna need some ground black pepper. I'm gonna add some of this and um, I think that's good enough. Nice little drizzle on top. All right, next I wanna go for a little bit of this. Italiano. Look, there's even bell peppers on it. Not too, too much, because, you know, you don't want to overdo it. And then I'm going to put a splash of this in there, just for a little bit more flavor. I love the garlic. I'm so, I'm so in love with garlic. All right, let's mix her up. Oh, doesn't that look good, you guys? This is going to be the best home cooked meal that I've ever made. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Cool, 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 cool. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. It is so nice. I am so excited. <laughs> a boosh. And that is sure a great iced tea mix. It goes great with this, I thought. Nice little side thing to do have here. All right. I am, I am, I don't even, I can't even talk right now. I'm so excited. This is like gonna be so good, you guys. All right, here's my first impressions. How did it go? My first slow cooked meal. I'm gonna actually have some meat on this as well. I wanna get the, yeah, there we go. Oh, it's so tender. It just ripped right off. The meat ripped right off. Oh. I'm trying to get like a piece of everything on there. There we go. You ready? Oh, wow, this brought me right back to when I was a kid again. It was so scrumptious, so, so tender. I was in heaven. It was glorious. Oh my God. One more bite. Hands down, this is the best meal I've ever made myself in my entire life. I've never made anything that tasted that good. This is like a home cooked meal. It's so fresh, it tastes healthy. It tastes like it's gonna fill me up and it's gonna give me nutrients and it's gonna actually give me like energy. Like I, like I actually feel like this is the first best meal I've ever made in my life. I'm not necessarily good with buying food, uh, preparing food, like anything like that, but once I get the right ingredients in there, Holy man, I can cook. It's just insane. Like, all you need is the right ingredients, and you can make stuff so incredible. The soup and all that and everything else, the cr oh my god, I love crock pots, you guys. This has been an amazing meal for me. I, I wish I could, like, give you guys some. I wish you guys could try some, because I don't know how what else to say. I don't know what else how to put it, but it's like God 
his hand came down from heaven and gifted me this bowl. He's like, here, you may eat the godly bowl of the dishes of the gods. And he just handed it down to me. Okay, I gotta stop talking. I wanna eat this. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Share it to your friends and family. And comment in the comment section down below if you're a new subscriber. Because I like to do sub for subs. And you'll be entered in for a subscriber special. Next one is at 250 subs. Let's keep the hype going, you guys. I love you all to death. Don't forget you are worth it. And never give up on your dreams. Just keep believing that you can achieve the goals that you set for yourself if you just keep pushing and believe. Don't give up. And you'll make it. I promise you. All right, guys. Love you to death. I gotta eat this beautiful food, so I gotta go. And I gotta upload this video. But anyways, I never know how to end a video correctly, so you know what? I'm gonna do it right here. I love you guys to death. Peace off and good night. You guys are the best audience in the entire world, honestly. In my opinion, I think you guys are better than PewDiePie's audience, even though you guys are small. You guys are still an amazing audience. You guys support me and help me so much. It's incredible, and it brings so much joy to my life. You have no idea. All right, love you guys to death. Peace out, and good night. I never know how to end a video, do I? All right, good night.